Day five of vlogging. Hey, this is Future editing me. I'm outside right now editing because it's super pretty and I don't want to be inside right now. I forgot to tell you guys what this vlog is about. It includes two cooking with Ashley's, a life hack for coronavirus, a homemade mask, me making tea, and many other things that I can't think of right now. Sorry, there's a bird over there. But yeah, I'd like to thank you guys in advance for watching my video and please keep watching and enjoy the video. You know where my dad's been because this is his famous scrolling. Okay, so I just got dressed. That's why my hair is wet. I just took a shower. Um, I'm wearing a shirt. This is sorry I wasn't listening. And I'm just gonna put it in context real quick. It's not to be rude. Like sorry I wasn't listening to you. I don't care. Like sorry I wasn't listening to you because I have ADHD and I'm probably zoned out. Not on purpose. I don't. Know. Either way, it's not really good, but I like the shirt and it's soft. So I'm gonna wear. It. Um, so I'm going to make tea. This is the kind of tea that I like. It has zero calories and zero sugar, but it tastes exactly like sweet tea. So I really love it, and you should try it. I don't know what the instructions are on, but the instructions are because I've never looked at them. My nana showed me how to make it, and I've just followed that. And I'm going to use five tea bags and six cups of water. I think that's how she told me to do it, but also I kind of forgot and just started doing it my own way until I liked it, and that's what I came up with. So we're gonna get the six cups of water. I can never pour anything without making a mess. It always makes a mess. And there's two more cups. I'm actually gonna do five cups because this bowl is too small. So we're gonna take them. So we only need four of these because I did five cups instead. Five cups of water. And then we're gonna put the tea bags in. So one, two, three, four. And now we're gonna steam it, cook it, brew it, whatever it's called in the microwave for five minutes. And while that's waiting, I'm gonna show you guys a life hack that I can't take credit for because I saw it on TikTok but I'm gonna show you. So you take a bandana, a towel, something of this size in your house, and you're gonna fold it hamburger style like this, and then one more time, so you end up like this. And then you're gonna take two hair ties or rubber bands, and you're gonna put it on. Now this is my first time doing the life hack that I saw, so if it messes up, it messes up. Okay, and then we're gonna fold it one more time over that, and then you put these on, and you take down the sides. This is what we have. And you're gonna take down these. And I don't know if this is ideal. This is, I guess, if you completely run out of mask and this is the last resort because this seemed like it would be very comfortable. Taking that down, it'll end up like this. And then you're supposed to take the sides of the rubber band. We're gonna have to fold it in more because my face is small. And you're gonna take the sides and you're gonna put it on your ears like this, like that. But my ears are too small, so it's not working. I don't think you should use these types of hair ties. You should use something smaller because it's too big, but that's the idea. So you have a face mask. So when you go out of the house, you're not supposed to leave the house, so stay home. That's the life hack of the day. Okay, so the tea is done cooking, brewing, steaming in the microwave. So we're gonna go ahead and take that out now. And it's hot, so we're gonna put it on something so that we don't mess up the countertop. Okay, so you take it out and you're gonna let it sit for five to 10 minutes. And while you're waiting, you can fill this up in a pitcher of whatever you have. So about like right here, because you want it to be 
somewhat diluted, but not like fully diluted so that it's still sweet. So I'm gonna fill that up real quick. Okay, and that's about what it should look like. Okay, and then you're gonna wait for five to 10 minutes. All right, so I forgot about the tape for like an hour, hence the hair change. I just forgot about it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the tea bags and you're gonna squeeze them like this and then you're gonna throw them away. And you do it for all of them. And you're gonna open this and you're gonna pour the tea in here. And I think I added too much water, but it'll still taste okay. And that's how you make this Lipton iced tea, Southern sweet tea. I'm in the car again. I am at Publix where I was last time. I didn't want to get out because obviously I don't want to get sick. This time though, I brought my dogs. They both are whining because they want to get out of the car because they see people. They're my editing buddies because I'm editing right now and they're being very supportive-ish. Not really, but they're, they're there. So I guess they're kind of supporting. So this is my lunch. It's the exact same meal as I had last night because it was so good. So I'm gonna enjoy it. All right, today, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I kind of struggled with coming up with content to film. So it's currently 7.46 at night and I'm about to make shortcake strawberry, strawberry shortcake cookies. So this is what we'll be making, called strawberry shortcake cookies, and that's what they look like. And it's out of my comfort zone because these cookies have filling and I've never made cookies with filling in them before. The first step is to preheat the oven to 350, which we'll do now. Okay, that's done. And then it says to line two baking sheets with parchment paper and grease them with cooking spray. And they're behind me. I've already done that off camera. And then the second step is to make cookie dough. And it says in a small bowl, stir strawberries, lemon juice, and one tablespoon of granulated sugar. So there's the strawberries, a spoon of lemon juice, one tablespoon of granulated sugar. And there's the one tablespoon. And it says to stir this. And it looks like that. And it says to set aside for 10 minutes. And a medium bowl whisk together flour, baking powder, and salt. Yes, yeah, two cups. And this is a half a cup, so I have to do four of them. And four. I feel like I'm on like baking shell. And then it says half a teaspoon of baking powder. I don't know how much that is, so I'll just throw it in here. We have to use two different bowls in the beginning. And then we have to melt butter. And I'm using Crisco because it's better for baking and I just like to use it. And we have to soften it, so half a cup of it. I guess I could have used the half cup to do this, but I didn't. I have to do this now because this is basically just oil and if I were to melt it off screen before I had started, it would have just became a solid again because that's how science works. One sugar, one fourth a cup. And we'll get that butter out and it has not melted so we're going to try it again. I think tomorrow I'll have better content because I know this vlog has been all over the place but I think tomorrow I might do a reaction video to something. I can't spoil it yet but be sure to watch that video tomorrow because I know it'll be good. Okay, it still hasn't melted so we're going to try it again. But yeah, tonight I'm going to plan out each day of the vlogs because while it's been fun doing random things, I feel like I, my life has been a mess trying to figure out what I'm going to vlog every single day. So I'm going to go ahead and plan it out. It'll probably make editing better. I'm not all over the place in the vlogs when I'm filming. I don't know. I'll just make life easier. Let's see if it's done now. It's almost there. So we're going to do 15 seconds. But yeah, you see this counter? It's a complete mess. And that's how, like, I'm overwhelmed by it. And I feel like, I don't know, that's how I feel. 
have felt for the past few days and I'm just new to this and I just haven't got the rhythm down for it yet so I'm working on it. Okay, we'll see if it's done now. Okay, it's done. I've never melted Crisco before but it's like a complete... It's oil. It's like vegetable oil. I could have just used a vegetable oil. That would have been better. Alright, so I have to beat this until it's light and fluffy. I think that's good. And now we have to beat in the egg and vanilla extract. My mom or my nana taught me that cracking an egg into something else before you put it in the main bowl is better because if you drop an egg shell in the egg, you can grab it out and you don't have to worry about restarting the whole thing. I think it's a great tip. So thank you to whatever family member taught me that. Vanilla extract is one teaspoon. Go ahead and add that and the oven's ready and I'm not. Surprise, surprise. Okay, so now we're gonna beat this just until it's combined. Okay, so it says to fold the strawberries in. Oh, and we lost a couple of strawberries when I drained them. Medium bowl we're gonna make. Oh no, I was supposed to put the flour in it. Hang it. Well, turns out we're having mushed strawberry shortcake. Actually, I'm gonna start over. Getting all the strawberries out. All right, I got the majority of them out, so we're gonna put this back. The flour mixture I made earlier into here. This is not going well. Now we're gonna fold in the strawberries like we were about to do before. I realized I had messed up. I warned you guys in the beginning I would mess it up. That's what they look like before going in the oven. They look kind of good. I'm not sure about them, but we'll see after 18 minutes. All right, so that's them in the oven. They look raw still and they have two minutes to go. I'm not feeling good about these. All right, so that's what they look like coming out of the oven. And they don't look, they don't look done, but they're like hard when you touch them. And I'm gonna wait like five minutes before I try them because they're probably really, really, really hot right now. And I'm gonna take them out and wash these pants real quick. This is what it looks like, and I'm gonna try it. They're all right. They're not that sweet, and they're but they're kind of good. I like them. All right, so that's it for tonight. I'm gonna go wash Dirty Dancing now. Alright, so that's it for today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed watching it. The song of the day is going to be Rooftop by Nico Santos. If you haven't already, like and subscribe. Go follow Boris on Instagram. Comment flowers in the comment section and don't forget to smile. Here's a clip of Lady playing with her bow.